All right, welcome back to the IY podcast. Uh, go ahead, tell the people who you are. No shit, I think your picture went down. Okay, there you go. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. What's up, man? What's up, world? It's your boy, Big Peter Beast from right. Omaha, Nebraska. Black Ribbon Entertainment, man. How y'all doing? Out there? How you doing today, man? I'm cooling, man. Maintaining, man. How you doing? Pretty good, man. I remember you from the uh, J Stone concert. That's when I seen you out there. That's when I first. Yeah. I don't know if I came up to you. I might have came up to you and said, hey, man, you did good up there. You know, you probably going to recognize me, you know, but I remember you sitting on the bench, you know, just waiting, you know, and uh, you went up there and you killed that shit. I was like, holy fuck, you know, so I, I got the, you know, the little brochure or the the concert thing, you know, I looked it up and I, you know, followed you on Instagram and shit, and that's how I went from there. Well, I appreciate that, man. How'd you get okay. in? Oh, go ahead. I said, I appreciate that. How, how'd you get involved in that one, in that concert? Um, I just had uh the, the guy that was DJing to hit me up, man, and he, he was just like, man, I want some dope artists there. I'm trying to bring a nice crowd out, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and pretty much, you know, I didn't really know too much about Jay Stone. You know, he he's kind of new to me, but you know, in light of what happened to Nipsey, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He's one of Nipsey's boys, so I'm like, yeah, I do that off the rip, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how I got. That's how I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? So. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm. Space. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a really good show, man. I mean, shit, I got there. It started at like eight o'clock, and I was there at like seven thirty. You know, just waiting and shit. You know, and he finally performed at twelve. But I mean, everybody that came out, you know, did really good. There was like another group and shit out there. You know, it was like a group of group of guys. I don't know if they're Bloods or something, but they're up there too. I don't know if you know them. Anybody? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a nice performance overall. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So how you been doing since then? What have you been up to? Man, I've been doing a lot, man. Um, dropping video after video after video, reaching out, networking with other artists. I dropped two projects, two mixtapes last year, like 12 videos. Damn. I'm about to drop another mixtape. I got a podcast on the way called The Black Room. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of things that I'm doing right now, man. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm just trying to stay busy, man. You know what I'm saying? But the main thing is the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a mixtape called Give Me My Roses that's about to drop soon. So, hell yeah, man. That's fucking dope. I, I checked out, you know, quite a few of your music videos. You know, uh, one of them, the most popular one, uh, Life Like This, or what is it called? Yeah. Like this? That one, that one's really good, man. How'd that come apart? Well, you know, like meeting up with all those guys, they all from o Omaha or what? Yeah, that's all from the city. Well, basically, you know, everybody, you, know, you, you want to be different when you do your videos. Yeah. So it's like, so it's like, you know, I'm like, man, I wanted to, everybody wants to shoot a video representing their city. And I wanted to show parts of my city that a lot of people don't show in their video. And then I just wanted to show a lot of different areas and different people in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People that I might not necessarily deal with on a regular, but they just a part of the city. And a lot of the people that I showed was people that actually do things in the city for the city and for our community, you know what I'm saying? And so yeah. it was pretty dope. I like how it came together. I like how I got to put the Malcolm X thing in there. A lot of people don't know that Malcolm X is from Nebraska, so. Damn, shit, I didn't even know that. I'm from Nebraska, shit. <laughs> and what what city? Of, uh, from here, we got a Malcolm X. Uh, we got a Malcolm X Park right down the street. Damn, for real. Yeah, Damn. so a lot of people, a lot of people don't even know that. So it's like, you know, I want to show them, showcase different sides of Omaha. And I, I want my videos to be a little different, to stand out. Yeah. And obviously, I did because, like you said, that's my most popular. I got the most views, like 130 some thousand right now. Yeah, yeah, man. I was like, holy shit. You know, that one, that one was one of my favorite ones, you know. and you know, the visual was really dope, you know, like I just, you know, everything really came together, like, you know, how the words and everything, it just matched, you know, exactly what the video was, you know, coming up right. and shit, you know, like, I like it, man, that, that's what you represent, you know, like what kind of, what is kind of like the message that you kind of are trying to, you know, leave, you know, or, or like put your voice out there, like what is your message that you try to do when you rap? Do you have like a certain one or? Yeah, I do. Basically, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, tell, I mean, I'm telling the story of a, a guy from Omaha, a, 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 a nigga from Omaha, believe it or not, who done been through 
the same trials and tribulations as a nigga in the bigger city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing different. You know, we go through our struggles and our old ups and downs here in Omaha, Nebraska, too. We have our ghettos here. We have our police, our crimes, and all of that that we got to deal with, too, our gangs, all of that that we got to deal with, too. Yeah. And I'm just trying to show them that, show people that we can make it out yeah. and then tell the world our story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, I mean, a lot of people from, like, you know, they think Nebraska, you know, they think country. They don't even really think about, you know, all the gangs and shit, you know, but, like, I live in Grand Island, you know, so there's a little bit here and there, but like you go to Omaha. Yeah, there's definitely some there, but you just don't really think about that shit. Like when it comes to Nebraska, but that's good that you're putting that out there. You know, you're letting people know that this shit's here. You know, it, it's not like it's not here. I mean, it's a real thing. Yeah, and ain't nobody faking, man. They, they, you know, I'll be seeing, I see other artists from the city that's grinding out here. They'll put a video on Instagram, you know, they'll put it on one of them say cheese websites that's pumping to millions of people and you got people saying how believable is that it's in nebraska okay come okay come to come down here then. <laughs> come down here and say that to yeah. say that to somebody yeah, i mean yeah. i'm like it's not, it ain't nothing to really glorify but it's here i'm not gonna lie on my struggle you know what i'm saying yeah i ain't gonna lie on what i had to go through and deal with in life yeah. or who i connected with or affiliated with i'm not gonna lie about that either so you know that that's pretty much what it is to let a, let everybody know that we here and, and we real. Yeah. We got real talent here. We got real people here, and we gonna make our way. We coming. I'm telling you. Hell yeah, man! People gotta know. Is there any oh, art? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Mark. Go ahead, G. Oh, I was gonna say. Do you know any artists that you know have from Nebraska like that has made it like major? Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, major, or as major, I would say. Um, I know my guy ISO right now. He he's with my guy King ISO. He's with Strange Music with Tech Nine. So oh shit, has, bro! You know, yeah, he's on. The, he's actually headlining the tour as we speak. Damn. Um, yeah. So I, I would to me that's major. He's with a major label, you know. Yeah. Um, um, Queso, he another artist from here. He was dealing with Waka Flock in you know? Oh, shit. Yep. He's a paint boy KD. You know him? Yeah, I know who paint boy KD is. Yep. Is it, has he uh... doing this thing, too? And he was he was actually, it looked like he had something going on with, with Treyway before all of that. Yeah. Something with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I seen that. I, I remember seeing all that shit. Uh, I remember when I first like was like, holy fuck, like he's getting noticed was because I don't know if you know, like Big Y, he's from California. He's like a like an old school hip hop rapper and shit, too. And he had shared right. it. And I was like, holy fuck, like, you know, like he's sharing this guy's shit from Nebraska, you know, and it was just like, this is crazy. You know, so I followed him and shit. It's just like I ain't never really seen that before. You know, people from California recognizing, you know, like the music here and shit, you know, like, you know, like this hard shit. Right. But I was like, yeah. that's dope, man. They don't think that they don't think that is here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I when I first when when I first seen Payboy or ever heard of Payboy KD, I'm like, you know, that's that's what I like to hear. I like that. I mean, I'm my style is aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like that. I like that aggressive style. He a big dude like me. <laughs> he come. He come. He ain't playing. He ain't taking a prisoner. So I respect the hell out of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. Out of that man for doing what he doing and coming how he coming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I look at everybody in my seat, you know, I'm 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 still trying to make my way. Yeah. I got a lot, I get a lot of love, I got connections, a lot of connections I connections outside the city. So I am making my way, but I respect every artist from my city, man, that's doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's this game serious, yeah, they don't yeah. get no love and respect for me, you know what I'm saying? Oh hell yeah, man. That is pretty dope. I mean, it's just like more motivation to really do it, you know, you know, so you could be, you know, one of the first artists, you know, or I mean, there's obviously some out there, but be one of the artists, you know, that make it big out of Nebraska, you know. Exactly. So how has it shit been since, you know, the COVID hit you? Has it impacted anything out, out there? Like for you trying to make yeah. music and videos? Not videos really, but it is like you, you can't do as much shows. Yeah. You know? And a lot of artists here, you know, throw part like me, my squad, Black Ribbon. We we known also for throwing parties. We will have events, 
but we throw parties. We couldn't do that because of the COVID. So, you know, it impacted things like that, but you can still do your music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, last year when the COVID hit, I mean, I just went full-fledged in the videos. You know what I'm saying? Video after video after video after video. So it's good for that, I guess. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It don't stop nothing, you know what I'm saying? If you really want it, it don't stop nothing. You know? Yeah, of course. How, how did you get into rapping? Man, truth be told, when I first started off, I was a, a singer. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> no more of that, though, or what? No, nah, I, 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 I ain't singing no more, brother. <laughs> It's over Dude. with. <laughs> Them days are over or what? <laughs> it's over with, man. <laughs> but when, I, when, I, when I first started out, though, I was a little kid. I was into music, man. Michael Jackson's my favorite artist of all oh, time. Yeah. Same here, yeah. man. So I, I wanted to be like Mike, of course, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. and so that's why I was first. My mom used to have me sing for friends and all that type of stuff. Then... I start, you know, my mom, she's big in hip hop. My auntie, she's big in hip hop. So they used to rap or whatever around me. And they used to play, you know, Tupac and, and, and Easy E and all them. Yeah, you yes, sir. And I listened to them. And I was chilling with my brother one day. And I, I was just like, man, you know what they doing is just, it's just all they doing is rhyming words. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was young, I was probably nine. She was like, well, do it. Let me see you do it. So I did it. So I just, ever since then, I just stuck with it, man. I just, it was, and now it's what I do. I mean, when I was about 14 is when I decided, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually be a rapper. For real? You know, this is what I want to do. This is what I, this is the dream I want to chase. Yeah. Because I couldn't find nothing else to, 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 to grasp my interests. Yeah, yeah. It was just all, all I could think about was rap. And so you just kind of kept going and going with it. Did you eventually come out with like a song? Like what was your first song? Do you remember? Or you got it out yeah. there still? The 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 uh the first song that I that I ever recorded in my life was this yeah. song called Ride Low back with my uh with my frontline guys. <laughs> I was in a group when I was in high school. It was called Frontline. It was me, my little brother Los. Um, my bro Hakeem, my bro AB, and my bro Juice, rest in peace. He just passed away not too long ago. Sorry to hear that, man. But yeah, we we still cool. We were still cool to this day. But uh, yeah, the first song that I ever recorded was with them. It was called Ride Low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember everything, but I do remember we was doing a whole lot of flossing though. We was that we was we was on that motherfucking line like a motherfucker. Oh shit, man! So then, how long? Diamonds and riding. When we fourteen years old, man, we we was just rapping though. Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that then? So how how old are you now? All right now, I'm thirty three. So this was back. I man, I've been doing this for uh, twenty some years, man. Damn, man. So uh, what what really kept you afloat? Do it like what what like you know kept you with it? You know what made you stick with it? It's really, it's really my, it's, it's, it's how I, it's how I communicate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's real deep, you know, deep for me. You know what I'm saying? Especially rap. It's the best way that I can express myself. You know what I'm saying? Every yeah. time I went through issues or was going through something, I would just go on a walk and just freestyle and I'd be cool. That would be the only thing that could calm me down. People used to think I was weird for doing it, but that's what I did. Hey, we got, we got our own shit, man. <laughs> that helps, so. Uh, yeah, so rap was just, that was, that was just my way of, uh, it was, it's me, it's in me. Like, you know, it's something that I couldn't, I couldn't not do it if I didn't want to. So whatever got unlocked that day when I was chilling with my brother when I was nine years old, <laughs> it, it was something that just ain't never went away because that, it, that is just in me. It's how I speak. Yeah, that's man. I'm, I mean, I see it, man. I mean, that, that that makes sense. You know, I mean, you got to have something like that that, you know, keeps you in it, you know, because if not, you know, it's just going to go away, like you said, you know, but it's just like something that's in you, you know, that's you, you realize that click moment, you know, when you're nine years old, like this is what I'm doing, you know, and 
this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, you know, whether, you know, that, that's what's going to keep you afloat forever, you know. I mean, when did you, like, uh, first do your first show? I mean, how was that experience? Well, the first show I ever did, man, was the Johnson Art Museum. It was, I was about 15 years old. It was crazy. It was about 500 people there. It was a showcase. And uh, it was crazy, man. Uh, we we was in a, a circle saying a little prayer before our show, like we've seen all the our other all our favorite artists do. <laughs> and in the middle of our prayer, well, right after we done saying our prayer, th- as soon as we walking out on stage, they dropped the verse. <laughs> and I'm the first verse. So we don't even get to go out there and you know, sing up to the crowd. They already playing the song, so I, I'm I'm walking out rapping. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm already thinking, oh, damn. But we ended up making it through it, man. We killed the show. We got a whole lot of love. And it was crazy. And after, what what I, what I, what, what was crazy is before we did it, everybody was so nervous, man. But as soon as the song hit, you, the nerves just go away. You it's know ready. what I'm saying? You just doing what you do. Yeah. So, yeah, after that, man, I, yeah, after that, I got addicted to shows. Performing is one of the my is one of my is one of the, if anybody that's a fan of Big P and tell you that if they see me live, that's one of their highlights. That's probably why they are a fan. Like, yeah, you know, no shit. Cause you when you you was up there, man, you just going crazy, just fucking going fast and fast, you know, and just you just you could tell like you were just so tuned into it, you know, and then you're fucking happy. You're what you know, like you're you're having that feeling that you have. I mean, how, how can you explain that feeling, you know, being up there? It's, it's like it's like being at home. It's it's a zone. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even see the crowd. Really? You know, just going on. It's, like, it's like I'm rapping in my living room at home, man. It's, it's so comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's it's cool. Like I don't know. It's like I don't see the crowd. So when I'm doing everything that I'm doing, I'm just doing it. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I might. Depending on the song that's playing, I might bust out a dance move or something, but you know, yeah. <laughs> but I love, I, I love it. Like it's home. Like yeah. it's home. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking dope though, man. I mean, do you, do you like, you know, coming up or do you still kind of take any shows that you can get that won't, you know, that other people may not take, you just take whatever shows you can get. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I used to, I don't anymore. Yeah. I used to, uh, I used to just take any of every show, but I don't. And the reason why is, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's not no selfish reason or no big headed reason. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of artists in the city right now, a lot of young artists in my city coming up. I've been doing these shows for a long time here in Nebraska. But as far as the shows where they like, okay, we give you ten tickets, you sell them. You know, those type of shows, these little showcases. Yeah. Now, as far as when it comes to, like, opening up for somebody major or me headlining my own show, I, I've done that, and I'll do those type of shows. But, like, um, any of those other shows, i leave those to all the other artists that's under the younger artists. Yeah. That's coming up, that hasn't performed, that hasn't performed all of them shows before. Yeah. I've done those ten times over. You yeah. know, yeah, that makes so, sense. You know, I'm, 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 I'm going. no thrill for me to do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'll just leave that to them. They go ahead and pack that out. You know what I'm saying? That's for the yeah. younger. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh, what what major artists and stuff that you kind of you kind of open for? You know, well known people since you've been rapping. Boosie. <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> oh shit. Boosie, Boosie K Kill, um uh E40, Twister, A Baller, MJG. Damn. Uh, um, Kevin Gates, uh, um J Stone, um uh Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh shit. Um uh, who, who else? Who else? I think I did another Kevin Gates. We did the K Stylist. 
We did the K Stylus, the Jada Kiss. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah. So you've done quite a bit then, man. Yeah, man. A lot of shows. A lot of shows here. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever get to meet any of those guys backstage or anything? Yeah, I've had words with a couple of them. I did the Paul Wall. Oh shit! Too. Damn. Yeah, I did the Paul Wall. They all got came to, to Omaha, huh? The hill after 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 hours or whatever got a picture. Didn't even pay for it or nothing. Oh shit! There you go. That's fucking dope, though, dope. man. They to even open up for a fucking you know major artist and shit like that. I mean, that just shows. I mean, you just you you get in there, man. Like obviously they're the headliners, and you know you coming up, man. That's fucking dope. You know you did quite a few. Holy shit! What, what yeah, else? I'll go ahead. You know, like I said, like I said, so that's why I don't really the other shows. I'll do some showcases. It just depends, man. It have to be something. If we gonna do something in my city, it's gonna be a showcase. It's gonna have to be something that's real lit. Yeah, I feel but it, like, man. When they have music crush Wednesdays and stuff like that, that shit is cool. But you know, I've done that so many times. I'm gonna just leave that for the for the younger artists that's that's out here grinding that they did all of the shows that I've done. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that makes sense, man. What artist, if you could pick one, you know, dead or alive, who'd you work with? Famous or not, for, famous or local or both. Shit, all of them. All of it. <laughs> Whatever uh, one. If I can say if local, one artist that I would like to work with, local. Yeah. I say local, I, I'll call them. I'll call them from, from, from my city. The artist from my city that I haven't worked with that I would like to work with. Yeah. Is oh, shit, my bad. It, it, it kind of cut out. What'd you say? I said Payboy KD. Oh, yeah, that'd be a dope fucking collab, dude. You guys would just go. Me and Payboy are really set something on fire. Yeah, no shit, man. Is there any way you can reach out to him or anybody? Like, how do you even get to I got out? Payboy. I got Payboy. Like, we, he know who I am. I got him on Facebook. We've had a couple conversations, man. We we just never said nothing solid or nothing, you know, nothing like that. But um, we just have some, like, real nigga conversations. You know, he a real dude, so. So we just had some conversations, but it ain't never, it ain't been about no music or nothing yet. So, but that's one nigga that I would like to collaborate with. If I could say, as far as for my city, now, as far as somebody that's famous, it would be Rick Ross. Of course, that's my guy. Hell yeah. That'd be a fucking dope one. Hell yeah, man. So uh, what do you do like to basically, you know, invest in your music and stuff? And your music videos and, you know, I know you got a, I mean, like, you know, like, a, basically, you know, like, so what do you do? You know, obviously you you invest your time and, you know, you're obviously your effort, you know, you got to put in your A game and shit, you know, you got to put money into the studio time and everything, you know, but, you know, kind of explain on that. You got to work, man. You got to work, man. And you got to, I, I, I work through YouTube too, man. You know, monetize your accounts, man. I'm telling you. What does? You you get paid through YouTube, man. Oh shit, for real. Monetize your account, man. If you get a thousand subscribe, get a thousand subscribers and four four thousand watch time hours in a year, man. You 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 can start getting paid, man. Damn, and that would use once once you start getting paid to to post, and you start doing you can get paid to post through every app on social media, and once you start getting paid to post through social media. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much money you're making, you can start devoting all of your time and energy into it. That's why you see a lot of people going that route nowadays. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, it's hard to fucking do this shit, you know, while working, you know, a part-time, full-time job already on top of that shit. Do you, do you have to do that right now anymore? Uh, yeah. No, no, not right now. I did, though, for the longest. Yeah, man. That's what, that's what you know, really... It, it takes from your, you know, you from your, you know, your goal in your career that you really want to do, you know. But, yeah, you no, know, you don't get to put all the time in that you want, man. Yeah, to come up with a good fucking masterpiece, you know. But that's 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 what. At some like. point, at some point, you gonna have to be like, "Hey, man, look, you know, the, the, I'm just going all in." Yeah, but yeah. I'm going all in. At some point, it's gonna get there. Do you really want to? Because this could change your life. You know, this is something that can change. A nine to five, 
you just gonna work that, and, and that's gonna be what you do for, until you're 60 and then retire. Yeah. Well, this is something that can really change your life if you really go hard with it. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna struggle for a long ass time, like you said, you know, but it's worth it as long as you're doing something you love too, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, if it, this is the only life we got, man, you might as well do the shit you want to do, you know, instead of, you know, fucking doing doing something that you don't like, you know, for your whole life, you know, like another job you don't like. That's how I feel with it, man. Because, you know, like basically what I got is my own little clothing brand and shit, you know, and this is, you know, like a, it's called, you know, my, my clothing brand is called, you know, invest in yourself clothing. And basically, you know, right now, you know, when I'm doing this interview with you, you know, I do it with all kinds of different people and. You know, it just gives the brand a voice, you know, like I basically just like hear people's definition of how they're investing in themselves. And I like to hear the come up stories and everything and how they got into what they got into, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, basically, you know, like what, what would you say you do to like, you know, invest in yourself? Oh, yeah, I got a clothing brand too, man. I got the oh, black shit. clothes. This right here is my brother's clothing line right here. Oh, shit. You guys both got one then, huh? Yep, and then we throw parties. We do all types of sh all types of shit, man. So, so how do you basically get your shit out there? Like, what do you do to promote promotion. it? Promotion. Yeah. Yeah, promotion all over the internet. Heavy you, promotion, word of mouth. What do you do? I got somebody at my door, man. Oh shit! Yeah, you go ahead and get off. Okay, get back here, man. Are you at the go? You have to go or? No, I don't gotta leave. If I can, can I can I go and come right oh, back? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> all good uh so basically you were saying like how, how you promote your shit out there you said so kind of go in depth with it kind of explain what you do for social media and all that shit post it on my page post it on my profile post it in my music videos i do vlogs and all types of shit now i got a whole team a whole squad they all do the same thing so they all promote it so every time we post anything it gets out there and that's probably why our events are so lit you know because yeah. he's out there. Oh, yeah. We got, nice, we got a nice little team. So, yeah. Really, it's, really gets the word out there. You know, everybody's on social media all day. Yeah, no shit, man. That's what people spend a majority of the fucking day doing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know you got that uh, TikTok. You got this, some of those funny-ass videos on there. I was watching on your Instagram. One where, like, some girl threw your ass or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That strong-ass yeah. girl. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck. I got a lot of TikTok, man. My TikTok page is going crazy, man. People, people really like my TikTok page, man. That's Go the new promotion. Me, man. Big feet of beast, man, on TikTok, man. Oh yeah. How'd you even get your name? Well, my my government name is Charles, man. You know, yeah. so I didn't want to call myself Big C because <laughs> I just don't think that sound right. Yeah, it just don't roll off the tongue right, Big C. Yeah. And I'm a big guy, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to call myself Big Sump. <laughs> and I wanted it to be big with two Gs. I didn't want it to be just big, yeah. like Big Fox, because he's big, he's big. So I wanted it to be big with two Gs. So that's why it's big with two Gs. So I'm like, all right, I can't call myself Big C, because that don't roll off the tongue the right way. So my nickname is Pawpaw. That's what my family calls me. So 
I will call myself Big P. I just borrowed the P from there, but the but the P don't stand for Pop Auto. It's name? just Big P. Just the P, P is P. Okay. You know, what I'm and then I started calling myself a beast because one day I was getting the cop a whole bunch of compliments rapping at this party at this little kickback, and this girl kept telling me that I was a beast. You know, that I was a savage, I was a beast. I should call myself a beast. You should call yourself a beast. I said, I should, huh? And then I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it had steps to it. Stay with it, man. <laughs> that's, really, that's really how I started calling myself the beast. No, that's dope, though. I mean, it had steps to it. I mean, you started off with the big, and then you got the P, <laughs> the beast, you know? That's pretty fucking dope, though. I mean, how that shit happens, you know? And also... Yeah. It all went down. <laughs> Who, uh, what uh, rapper would you say is you know pretty that inspires you, or artist? What any of them? Uh, my 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 first the first artist that inspired me was Pac. Basically, off of his off of how how real he is on the track, how he can get you to really buy in of what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's that's very important. So. That that's that was very very inspiring. But then, as I got older and start going through shit in life, the rapper who became the most influential was Rick Ross. Really, and B, I, at first it was Big, but mm. Big kind of passed away when I was a kid, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, as I was going through when I was going through as a teenager, you know what I'm saying? I see Rick Ross in the game. You know what I'm saying? Doing what he was doing. He was the only rapper in the game that looked like me. Shit. Big black nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out there fresh, killing it on stage, shirt off, don't give a fuck, confident exactly. in the roof. So for a little fat dude like me, that was that was his inspiration. That was, you know, he inspired me. That big he played a big influence on me. And but them had a lot of big influence on me. Yeah. He taught me to be fearless. Hell yeah, D12, all of them, man. That was a great fucking band they had back then. Group, band, whatever yeah. you call it, you know. But, you know, they, they made that song, My Band. That one's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. 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 So Eminem, he taught me to be fearless. So, yeah, yeah man. It's just, them, them was probably the main three, though. Pac, L, and Rose. Yeah, I feel that. Those are good ones, man. That's why I grew up listening to it, too. You know, I'm only 21, but. I still always listen to that shit, you know, growing up. I always fuck with a lot of old school more, you know, I still do more than anything. That's what I was really like listening to, you know. So I basically listen to all that. What uh what so basically, you know, what kind of some struggles you had coming up, you know, that you know basically made you the man you are today to where you to get to where you're at. A lot, man. Growing up, you know what I'm saying? First off, growing up in this city. This ain't an easy city to grow up in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All these husbands right next to each other. We all went, all, everybody went through what they went through growing up. I didn't have, you know, didn't have a pops, had a whole bunch of, uh, had a whole bunch of uh, relatives around. I mean, had a whole bunch, had all my siblings around. Yeah. But no pops, of course, mom doing it all by herself. So life wasn't easy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, going to jail, being raided twice. You got another person? <laughs> <laughs> being raided. I think this is my sister. Oh, shit. Hey, come in. Being raided twice. Um. Hey, I'm doing an interview. I'm doing an interview. I left it on the table for you. All right, all right, let me safe. But basically, man, being raided twice. I got raided in 2016, caught my first felony. Uh, raided again. In November, November 2nd of 2017, since I was a felon, they found a gun in my house. So I had to fight a case. You know what I'm saying? I was in yeah. jail six months. Ended up um, 
since possession is lying to the law, and they didn't find they didn't find my DNA on the gun. The gun wasn't over here in my room or nothing. So they had uh, my roommate uh, claimed the gun, and they found it in his room. So they couldn't charge me with the gun. So, but they charged me with tampering with evidence, whatever. Yeah. So that meant that I mean, that that made me a two time felon. So you know, when you become a felon, you kind of got to button up everything after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they ain't playing with you out here when you become a felon. So after that, that was really when I that that was really when I stopped playing with everything. It was just like, man, I'm going all in on this music, and I went harder. I'm, I've been going harder the last couple of years than I've ever went my entire life, to be honest. You know, and now situation going through extra situations, losing certain people, it makes you. You know, it, it makes you realize how short life is, man. So that's, yeah, that's for sure. So yeah, you, yeah, I, I don't play no more like I used to, but yeah, yeah, man. So I mean, basically, you know, you really once you really tapped in, you know, and went all in, you know, I mean, look how much progress you made over your whole, you know, time doing it, ver- you know, versus the last few years, you know, when you yeah. went all in with it. Exactly. But, that's kind of what you got to do though, man. That's just, but you just go through shit and you just fucking, you figure it out, you know, but I mean, you know, look at, look at all your shit, you know, you're getting paid off this shit now, man. That's just, that's, that's just crazy. That has to be a great feeling, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Fuck. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, that's probably no better than feeling than that, you know, to be able to, you know, live off that shit, you know I mean? To other people to get, you know, get to that point, you know, that's motivation, you know, every day, you know, no more working the day job and all that shit, you know, just fully locking into what you want to do. And that's the yeah. best thing you can do, man. That's for damn sure. All the people that think that that, that it's not work, <laughs> you must not really be doing it. Yeah. Because it's hard work, man. Yeah, it's going to be it's hard, hard ass fucking work. work. A lot of time, man, you got to spend a lot of the money that you make it, you spending it. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just going right back into it, basically, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, basically, so it's a risk in it within itself. So, but you, but you just gotta, you gotta have a lot of confidence in yourself, know yourself, be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? And you, you you'll be, you'll be strong. You'll be strong. Yeah. I you mean, know? cause the best person that knows yourself is going to be you, you know, and you know, you're going to know what you want to do and how you're going to get there. You know I mean? You can, have a team and everything, you know, but, you know, they're, they're not, I mean, they're around you and shit, but it's just hard, you know, to have them have the same mindset as you to put in the same amount of work as you, you know, that, that's what fucks with me, you know, but I can, because, you know, I could be like, oh, I want to do this right now, you know, like, oh, we'll do that shit later or nothing, you know, so it's just like, I got to do this shit on my own. I got to, you know, say, hey, I'll kick it later, you know, or whatever it may be, you know, but I got to put in the work now because nobody else is going to be as motivated as me as keeping my clothing brand along because it's mine, you know, it ain't, right. you know, I mean, I, this, it's, even if, you know, I used to try to have them be a part of the team, it's just like, you know, and they just, they don't have the same mindset, you know, it's, so it, it makes it difficult to not get frustrated and shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The way, the way that I had to rationalize with, with you know, as far as from the rapper side of things, when you were, when you got a label full of rappers, you know what I'm saying. And I kind of had to look at it like some people just ain't go go as hard as the other, you know, as others. Or everybody's different. Everybody works different. I guess you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If we if, if you were in a rap group, that's different. But a label. And you pretty much made your own career, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you work as hard as you work. So you see labels out here where like, like, like Young Money, when they had their whole label, you see who was the hottest out of their label, you know what I'm saying? There was the people that was putting in the most work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is. So you got to be satisfied with your position because if anything ever pop off, and, and, and on anybody's label, and you one of the people that's not that ain't putting in the same work as this guy over here, but he's way more successful than you. And, and you can't feel any type, of, you know. You got to put in the same amount of work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So 
I just rationalize it like that. I'll tell somebody in the quickness, man, look, hey, man, you got to put that work in, bro. Yeah. You can do the same thing that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Anybody, Anybody can. Same thing. Yeah. So. It just depends who's going to put in the most work and actually put in time to it, you know, not half-ass the shit. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the difference. Anybody can do it, but who's going to fucking actually put in work and actually, you know, put in the effort and, you know, come up with some good shit rather than half-assing some shit, you know? Exactly. What, exactly. Motiv uh, what motivates you to do what you do every day? Um, like I said, man, just to, to, just, to get, just to have a change of life, man, be able to take care of my mom and my grandma, man, and, and, you know, try to get them back everything that they gave me. Yeah. Shit, I, I'm trying to put my city on the mat. I really want my city to believe in themselves more, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. see how special they are and understand how special they are. I really want them to, man. I don't think that my city really know and understand how how great we really are. So I think that you know, if we if we had, if we can have if somebody did make majorly like blow up to become a major star, then I really believe that you know our city will start believing differently. Oh yeah, if they see that yet. So. But I hope it happens. Whether it's me or anybody else, I just hope it happens because my city need to know. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. And just life, just to have a better life, man. That's just have a better life. Hell yeah, man. Where would you like to be in ten years if you, you know, could kind of dictate where you want to go? Like, where would you like to be? Well, I'm probably chilling at the crib, doing nothing but interviews like these in a big. <laughs> Big ass mansion with plaques on the wall, with kids running around, with my best little wife running around to clean it up or something. <laughs> yeah, man, that sounds like the dream yeah, shit. <laughs> in the middle of my career, you know, happy that I finally got to where I was wanted to, you know, to pretty much, you know, same thing, just more advanced, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're, but I hope to have I hope to have my family and everybody around me straight to the point where don't nobody gotta take any unnecessary risks or, or do anything that's gonna take them away from the family. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, where did you you know ten years ago, you know you uh, where would you have thought you would have been you know today, or where would you like what would you think you were gonna be doing? Eight years ago, wow. I mean, boy, I was, I was out here doing the most ten years ago. Ain't no time. <laughs> ain't, no <laughs> ain't no time. I didn't know where I would be when I was thirty. To be honest, when I was 22, 23, I was doing, I was doing everything the wrong way, bro. I was living wrong. I was moving wrong. Yeah. So yeah, I, 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 I probably, I probably wasn't even thinking about what I would be doing at 30, 32. I probably thought I'm, I, I don't know, man. You didn't think you'd make somewhere it? Not, somewhere I don't want to be. Yeah. No. Somewhere no. I don't want to be. Yeah. But I mean, so you, you, you're happy with what you're at now, like where yeah. you're at yeah. uh, yeah. versus where it could have been. Yeah, even though I went through a lot of the things that I went, I went through a lot. Man. I've been through a lot. I've been homeless all types of stuff, man. But you know, even though I went through all of that, yeah, because I'm cool. Like I'm cool now. You know what I'm saying? I'm content now, and yeah. I know how situations, and I, you know, everything's everything's cool. You know, oh, yeah. I'm where I need to be. I just need to keep pushing. Like I'm in the lane that I want to be in. All I got to do is keep moving now. Just keep moving. Oh, yeah, man. You keep doing, you're going to get better and better, and you're going to, you know, keep going and going. You know, you're eventually going to get more money and all the shit, man, you know, because, I mean, look at the, you're in the right lane, obviously. You're in the right lane. Exactly. You're just going up. You're just going up, you know? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so how many, uh, you know, like, 
how many albums you say you have? Or do you have any? You got mixtapes or what do you got? I got uh real regulars real the message. This what I do, that's a double disc. Um money, music, and blessings, and all for one. So all together that's six. Six albums? And then I got Give Me My Roses that's about to drop here in the next couple of months. Damn. You excited for it? Yeah. You about to, did you get some good collabs on there or what? Yeah. I you know, I always I always managed to get good collaborations on every on every album. I done worked with a lot of dope artists from the city, man. So yeah, I got I got some I got some I got some special things going on on this on this one. You got you some know? music videos and shit coming too? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah there you go, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a real hot summer, man. They know how I'm they, 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 they know how I'm bringing it, man. They know how I'm coming. They know what it is, you know. Yeah. Know. Man, hopefully this summer too, man. You get to start performing on them fucking shows again, man. Because I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you got any word on any of that shit with the COVID? I mean, are they going to let you do any shows? You heard? Yeah, they started. They started to open things back up, man. So, like I said, what well, King Ice was on a tour right now, so they actually doing shows with people in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, like. Uh, you know, he got a show here too at the waiting room too. So, damn, you gonna be going there? Uh, am I going to be going to the waiting oh, yeah, room? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, I had a question. <laughs> oh yeah, young man. Let me get a little bit closer. But yeah, I mean, basically, you know, I mean, it sounds like, you know, you really representing, you know, the city I'm trying to put on for it, man. That's your, like, your, your main thing, you know? That's like the message you really want to leave a lot of people is what it sounds like to me, man. And that's a good one. Always putting on for them. Yeah, that's the best, but that's that's what it's all about. That's what I want everybody in my city to know that it's all about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... I uh, I see. What was I gonna say? I mean, that, that is pretty cool though. They, they, you know, you open for a lot of major artists and shit, man. Okay. You got another one at the door. <laughs> no, I just want to touch you real quick. Is that chinchilla? That's my friend. That's his. My bad, man. I had to let her. I had to let her use this car real quick. Man. Oh, it's all good, yeah. Uh, yeah, she do. Kenny, I'm Kenny Newman. Yeah. Love. Hey. Amen. Love. Hey, no question. That's my baby. Love. Ain't no question. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't gonna drive crazy. Love. Y'all have a blessed day. Get loud. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna grab this for sure. All right, man. Y'all good? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what, what is, uh, you, you know, uh, your process of, you know, coming up with songs? You know, like, how, how does that come to your head? The beat, you first, the words, or? Yep, I listen to the beat. Um, see, it's the, 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 a lot of people do it, do a lot of, do it differently. But what they do is, They'll uh they'll record a whole bunch of songs and then pick from them. I don't like if I have if I have twelve songs, then, then I just pick those are the twelve beats that I just picked out that I'm using. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'll be like I listen to the beat, then I'll formulate something in my mind like a topic what I'm going to talk about. Then I run the beat back, come up with the first verse, run it back, come up with the second, you know, and then I always come up with the hook last. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. But I pretty much, I pretty much write in my head. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Put it on the pen and pad. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, you know, the, I, I used to use a pen and a pad, but you know, once once they got cell phones, 
I'm like, man, I, I, then I started writing in the cell phone, but now it's like, you know, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> then now you just do it in your head, you said? It just depends. What about, uh, was, uh, you know, one of your first music videos, was it uh, High Thoughts? Was that your first one? That's the first video that I ever did in my life, G. Yeah, I seen that. I went back on the YouTube and I was checking it out. That was pretty dope. How did you get into that one? I got about 19,000 views, I think, on that. Hell yeah. Was that it you? Video was, boy. <laughs> uh, to me, when I watch that video now, I look like, like, I look like, a, I look like a rookie. Like a what? A rookie. <laughs> that was just you coming up, right? That was the beginning. Yeah, that was the first video, man. I was at the frat house. We was throw, we used to throw parties at this at this frat house man, we used to rent out. You know, oh, we yeah. threw some parties there and became legendary in the city. <laughs> so that's kind of how you really get your music out there is like at the parties and shit. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, in the, in the beginning. I mean, everybody. I mean, everybody. Everybody already know who who we are for the most part. Yeah, we've been doing this music shit for forever. We've been doing this music shit forever. Hell yeah, man! Oh shit! Oh shit, man! It's like it's like shit, man. I'm just like shit. We just need to spread our wings. I think it's time for us to spread out, man. And what do you and mean? Go to other places, man. Do you plan on to go to like the you know different cities and shit? Then you ever did a lot of concerts and shit, like out of state? Yeah, I have, and it was cool. And the love that you get, the love that you get out of state is different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do how is it? How is it like different? What do you what would you how would you explain it? It's like they don't they don't know who you are, so they like more in, they more in tune, like they're, they're listening harder. You know what I'm saying? You might have some people here, half the crowd know who you are, and they just cool with you just no matter what you go up there and say. Okay. So the reactions might be different. Yeah. But when, so when somebody's pleasantly surprised at how dope you are, you know, the cheers are a little louder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you actually so, killed that and they were just, you know, they're just like, if they didn't fuck with you, they ain't going to say nothing, you know? But you know, obviously if you do do fucking good, they're going to say some shit, you know, if they, if they don't know you, you know, yeah. that's, that's how, you know, it is. it's like, you know, it's different. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Which yeah. one was your favorite state going to? Uh, the, that I performed in? Yeah. Uh, probably Illinois. Illinois, but, yeah. How many? You know, yeah. Oh shit, my man. No, I ain't gonna even lie, man. I, I did, I did a show in Iowa, man. That that was that was lit too. <laughs> and you got all the love, huh? Did they did they know you there a little bit too? Iowa ain't too far from uh, no, they didn't know that I was. I won this contest. Oh, shit. I won this contest to open up for this guy that was on tour. And uh, he had another show somewhere in some city way out in Iowa. And we went out there, we went way out there, and that shit was lit. So I ain't gonna even lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give Iowa their props. Hell yeah. <laughs> which which one do you want to go out well, to? I haven't, I haven't did a lot of uh, shows out of state, you know what I'm saying? Like I should have. So yeah. That's the main thing. I only perform in a couple spots. So like it is not I should have more. Well, so that's what it's all about. That's what this push is all about now. Traveling, networking. That's pretty much what I'm on. Trying to make all them connections and shit with everyone. So you can get yeah. out there and shit, yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, 
but which one would you like to try and get out to or what, which one you kind of looking towards? Well, I mean, basically, I mean, there's two questions. I mean, what, which one you kind of leaning towards right now? Like that you can get to, that you know you can. City? Yeah. City, state, whichever. Uh, uh, Texas there in California. Oh, sure. Mainly Cali, though. Mainly Cali, though. I got some connections out there in California that's pretty legit. You know, I'm trying to get some shit going on out there. But I got I got some connections out there in Texas, too. That's Man. pretty cool. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, fuck, those would be very Texas fucking dope. What would you say? Texas and Cali, man. Yeah, I mean, that those ones will be really fucking dope. I mean, imagine you can do, even do videos and shit out there, man. Fuck. Man, I, you go out there. Out of state, man. Oh, man. That'll be, yeah. How, how is the, do you do a lot of online collaborations with people? Or do you do a lot of in-person? Both. The only collaboration that I've done pretty much, we from the same city, so most of the time we was in the studio together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was only a couple of them that it was only a couple of times where somebody went in the studio because you know they like record by themselves. You know, that's they own that's they little that's how they record. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know. I want people to be at their best when they collaborate with me. So whatever it takes for you to be at your best, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know. I want the song to be as good as possible. Yeah, no shit. I mean, how is yeah. the? Do you usually have the song written and you know, kind of practice and shit before you go to the studio or what? Yeah, I already got the song down before every every time I go to a session. I already got the song down that I'm about to record. Yeah, that's probably so, the way to go. So you ain't like burning up all the studio time and shit, you know? Exactly, and I tell my crew the same thing, man. If you memorize. If you memorize your music before you even go to the studio and you pay 80 bucks for two hours, you ain't worried about, you know, but you got four songs already memorized. I can knock out four or five songs in two hours, yeah. you know, and with ease. So, like, it's like, you know, that's worth 80 bucks. That's mm -hmm. worth a hundred and however many. Go in there and get your money's worth, man. Yeah. Do that you way you ain't, you ain't sitting in there for two hours and you only got half a song done. Yeah. Do, do you guys have a lot of studios over in Omaha? Yeah. There's a lot of studios out here. Do you, uh, do you have like a certain one you, that's your favorite? Yeah, I go to Smooth Productions, man. I, I fuck with my guy, Absolute P, man. He recorded like my last, my last, I, I, my six tapes. About to be seventh because he's recording the seventh one, but out of out of my six, he recorded four of them. Four, I want five of them. Damn! So basically, all of them, almost huh? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, he pretty much recorded all of my all of my music, man. For the most part, man. I've been messing with Absolute for years, man. That's my guy, man. But since we was in high school, but. Yeah, he one of the dope producers out here, engineers, and so I fuck with him in smooth productions. He does it all, then, huh? Yeah, he got music and everything. He do everything. A lot of uh, a lot of rappers, or does he have like R and B and all that kind of stuff too? He does. Yeah, he do. He do a lot of he. His style. I can't. I couldn't even begin to tell you what his style is, man. Oh, just just look him up. Absolute P. On YouTube, and trust me, you gonna, <laughs> you'll be in the <laughs> yeah. tell you. Hell yeah, man. Do you uh, plan on doing any, do you already, you probably already got some R&B tracks on, huh, with them, not you singing, but like with some other people? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you like doing those ones a lot? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. like you go in the studio with them and do those yeah. ones, or? Yeah, I love R&B. R&B is really my favorite music to listen to. Yeah, she used to be a singer, <laughs> That's how it started, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love our F. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you ever sample any of the R&B beats or anything? Do you sample any beats at all? From any famous tracks or uh, anything? Yeah. I, I, I like samples. They, they, they don't depend on how, you know, how somebody do it, how they blend it. But I'll sample a couple tracks. 
Mm-hmm. You don't want to do it too much. Yeah. You know that, that. You know what I'm saying? What was one of your favorite ones that you sampled? Like one of your favorite tracks that you did? Uh, I did. I got this track called uh, "As Far as Favorite Samples." Sampled this track called uh, you know that song "Wrecking Ball" by Miley Cyrus. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sampled that. Really? Well, what, I, what, which part? Story. I sampled the, uh, I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you to let me in. Oh, shit. That part. What that song is it? I'm going to check it out. On yours, what, what is it? It's, it's called, uh, it's called Wrecked. It's on my, uh, it's on my first mixtape, on my second mixtape called The Message. All my mixtapes is on that Piff, too. That Piff, okay. And they free, they free to, free to download. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody where to find your shit, all your ads, you know, so everybody find it. You can find you can find all my music, my mixtapes on datpiff.com. Just type in Big P the Beast, and my mixtapes is going to pop up. You can download them. I also got mixtapes on iTunes, all for one and Money, Music, and Blessings. They're both on iTunes right now. They're, they're on all, all, all music. All music apps, so you know what I'm saying. They're everywhere. They're on YouTube too. You can also find me on YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Add me on Instagram at Big Kid Beats. Yeah, I'm everywhere, man. I'm mm-hmm. on all all apps. Twitter. Oh shit. Your beats. Yeah, tell you, you will be entertained. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta fucking have everything. All the social medias, you know, if you basically want to promote your shit the cheapest way and to really be out there, because that's the only way that people really hear about anything anymore is on that like, on social media. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. It's the best way to fucking do it. But I mean, uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add before, you know, we wrap it up or anything? Uh, Leave the people no, with a message. Oh shit! <laughs> you still there? No, man. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been chill, man. The oh, first shit. time. Oh shit! My, uh, time, here, my bad. Uh, like you, you kind of cut. You kind of cut out. Uh, shit! Right when you were right when you were saying it, um, your you, your thing froze. Can you hear me now? I say yeah, I can hear you. I okay. say yeah, man. I don't really. I said, not really, man. This said, this is pretty dope, man. This is a pretty dope experience. This is the first time I ever did this like this. Oh yeah, yeah. So, pretty dope, man. And I like I had a I had a cool this is a lot. I had a good conversation, man. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, same here, bro. Well, I'm glad you came and did this shit, man. I'm you know, we only got 24 hours, man. You spend an hour with me, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's what I always tell everybody, you know. But I mean, you got a podcast and shit you got coming soon too. I mean, you can do this kind of Zoom shit with other people, you know, from all over the world. Always, it's free too. You That's know, so, great. So That's I mean, great. you can definitely use this shit, man. It, it fucking helps, you know. Like, you're you're what two and a half hours away from where I'm at, you know. We ain't even got to go meet in person. We can just do it right here. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. And people feel more comfortable and willing, you know, kind of more willing to do it, you know, when you're on this too. I don't, I don't know. I just that's just kind of the vibe I get from it right now, you know. But, you know, I'm glad you came and did it, man. I appreciate right, it. Right, right. Yeah, man, I'm glad that you had me, man. I'm glad you reached out. I appreciate that. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't really reach out. I don't know yeah. why, but they don't. So I appreciate that, man. For real, oh, for real. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I just, you know, I just messaged you. I was like, fuck, I didn't even think you would fucking, you know, even text back. You know, that's why I, I commented, you know, hey, check your DM, you know, because sometimes there's a bunch of bullshit spam in there and shit, you know, but. That's all you got to do is just, you know, send that message and then, you know, maybe they'll message back. If not, they don't, you know, but I'm glad you did, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely, man. We're going to have to do this again, brother. Oh, yeah, I'm down, man. You know, thanks. I'm going to have to have you on the podcast, too, brother. Oh, yeah, let me know, man. I'll, I'll come on, man. Whenever you get that shit started up, you know, just let me know and we'll do it. Most definitely, man. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap out. You kind of lagging and stuff. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'll I'll end this call though. Yeah. Oh, there Whoa. you go.
What? <laughs> it cut out, but I know I was just saying, yeah, I'm all in this call now because it's kind of freezing and lagging and stuff, you know, but, you know, thanks again for coming on. Is it freezing up? Yeah, 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 but we'll, we'll end it here, though, but thanks again, man. Already, G. Take it easy. All right, you too, man. Keep it up. What?